All right, let's just give this a quick check uh, to see how um, quickly this warms up. So power on and we'll just go Have I got something there? <laughs> Maybe. Let's just double check. Hello. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just, oh, good lord, that's bad. <laughs> you can't even see it on the screen. Yeah. Just start to see. Yeah, if I just, yeah. There we go. Wow. How bad is that now? Hmm, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure this is going to be uh, saveable, but let's, uh, let's find out. So, this is the problem we've got here. I've got this Durabrand TV video, oh, sorry, TV DVD player, and it's got so incredibly low emissions, you can see it's just no focus, and it's just, yeah, let's have a look. Put the uh, bright, you can see the brightness and the sharpness is up to absolute maximum, and it's very sort of low. So, what I'm going to try and do here is um, see if we can boost this a little bit just using the old method of let's just crank the hell out of the heaters and see what happens. So, what I'm going to do uh, first of all is I'm just going to dismantle it and just let the heaters bake for a couple of hours at about nine volts. Normally they're about 6.3 volts, but uh, I thought we'd uh, we'd just crank it up. And you know, at the end, at the end of it, you know, this isn't a TV that's particularly uh, valuable or anything like that. It's one of the sort of last generation uh, cathode ray tube televisions. So, okay then. Yeah, if I adjust the. Um... Yeah, I can just see there, uh, wow. but I've also got the fly back lines. Thank you, Henry. I'm trying. I'm trying to make a video here. Never mind. Yeah, I can kind of get something there, but it's just. Uh, I mean, it's it's starting to come off a little bit, but. I think it hasn't heated up. Yeah, it's uh, it's a TV from 2005. It's not from the 1950s, so, you know. Yeah, so there we go. We got slightly better, but all you need is a multimeter with some sort of continuity test like that. So all we're going to do now, usually the uh, heat as pins are usually two together, and if we just keep checking, yep. There you go, it's those two there. Okay, so as the heater connection was connected to ground, um, I've had to physically cut through the track here on the PCB. But uh, what I've done, so what I've done here rather is connect two wires and um, yeah, so this can just go back on. Um, obviously I've separated the heater uh, from the rest of the circuit as well because it was a wire going to that and uh, yeah we'll just bake that for a couple of hours at 9 volts and see how it works so let's just crank this up to about let's just go for 9 volts shall we and see where we are a little bit over that but hey who cares See, it's just starting to glow there. You can't see in daylight, but that is actually very, very bright for uh, for the back of a cathode ray tube. All right, I suppose we we'll leave it that for a couple of hours and we come back. Okay, so this has been uh, baking for about uh, well, probably just over two hours, really. But I've uh, I've turned it back down now to there. Uh, at 6.3 volts. So um, let's see what we've got.
Ooh, bloody hell. <laughs> well, I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see what the... Yes. Hmm. Blimey. Right. Yeah, I totally was not expecting that at all. As you can see, it's um, completely come back up. Uh, yeah, that's nice and... The on-screen display is nice and clear now, so... Because that was the problem before. Um, ignore this flickering, by the way. It's just the... Uh, my uh, camera here not... Uh, not synchronizing to the screen refresh but uh yeah that's pretty impressive that don't know how that long this is gonna last but we'll soon find out um let's uh let's feed a signal in hang on hmm i have to muck about with the colors here hang on a sec hmm brightness is absolutely maxed out here and this uh, picture is still fairly dim let's just Ooh, mm, bit of smearing as well. Mm. Yeah, that's really dark. Um, let's see if anything contrast is going to do anything. Hang on, right, so right up. Contrast. Oh no. <laughs> nope, that makes it a million times worse. Hang on. The brightness is on maximum. Hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah, so that... Hmm. Yeah, that's quite dim. Hmm. Hang on a sec. Let's just tweak the, um, uh, the screen control. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, blimey. Um, hmm. Oh, that's doing all sorts of funky stuff. Oh, hang on. Very nice. Okay, hang on. Uh, oh, blimey. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So there we go. Um, camera doesn't really do this justice. In fact, actually, let's put the uh, light off a second. See if the sun improves things. Come on. White balance. Hello. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's about as good as we're going to get, I think. Uh, it's not bad. It's not brilliant, but... Uh, you know, considering this is just a composite uh, picture as well. But yeah, I think that's that's not bad. I've had to turn the, uh, the heaters up just a bit, just to, to keep it going. So it's about 8 volts, but um, mm. there we go. Oh no, though, that's not a bad job. And just to add a little bit to the end of this, I've had to uh, actually add a DC to DC boost converter or buck converter because um, as you can see this is the voltage that's going into it into the heaters is 5.36 um, so I've stepped the voltage up to 6.36 and the uh, picture quality is much much uh, better the brightness is just you know pretty much perfect so yeah not entirely sure if it's a fault of the TV or if that's just um, how it was designed so there's been a bit of cathode poisoning to the cathode ray tube um so but never mind